Welcome to Daylight by Touchpoints. This video will tell you all you need to know in order to get started with using Touchpoints data in Daylight. Daylight allows you to look at the behaviour of a target audience across the week by predefined topics, including locations, who with, activities, mood, media behaviour, internet usage, social media, and even Touchpoints passive data. First, you select the level of Touchpoints data you would like to analyse. Topline will offer four topics for analysis, including location and who with, activities, mood, and topline media. In Depth offers a further eight topics, including travel, shopping, communication and social media, TV and video, radio and audio, news and magazines, internet, and passive data. In Depth mode also allows you to choose an audience to compare your target to. Here we have selected In Depth. Now select the year of Touchpoints data you would like to analyse. You can currently select between Touchpoints 2017 and Touchpoints 2018. For now we will select Touchpoints 2017. Now select a target audience. We have given you 26 standard audiences to start with and you can request further bespoke audiences based on combinations of any Touchpoints and most TGI or YouGov variables using the Bespoke Audience button. For now we will use adults 15 to 24. When looking at a target audience, it is often useful to compare to either the total population, in this case all adults, or another audience. This allows you to see how your target differs. For example, you might compare a bespoke audience of coffee drinkers to all adults, or compare a bespoke audience of Aldi shoppers to main shoppers 15 plus. For now we will use all adults. Now press the play button to generate your dashboard for your chosen audiences. As you enter daylight, you will see an unpopulated fill chart, which will display the reach of chosen variables across the day for your target audience in a solid colour, and the comparison audience with a dotted line. To populate the chart, simply click any of the variables from the charts below. Here we have selected the activity, working. Selecting a variable displays how that variable changes across the day along with peak times and also the average amount of time in decimal format that your target and comparators spend doing the selected variable. The lower charts show the overall reach percentage while the max reach text displays the peak level of reach at any one point in time across the day. Most variables within the topics will show reach across the day or selected time period. However pie charts will show the share of time spent by all participants with specific variables. Here we can see the share of all time spent with media, which is spent with social media, and how social media exposure changes throughout the day. You can also filter your variables by average weekend day, average weekday, or average day all week by selecting at the top right. You can filter variables by time of day using standard day parts. You can select topics by clicking on them here. Let's look at mood. If you only wanted to look at positive mood at breakfast time, you could do this by selecting positive mood and then breakfast. The average hours per day will not change as it is still based on the whole day. By clicking on the title of your target or comparison audiences at the top left, you will be able to see their demographic breakdown. This includes their average age, the regions they live in, their social grade, whether they are likely to be a chief shopper or chief household income earner, if they have children or pets, their main supermarket, and the product categories they are passionate about. All of the charts created in Daylight can be downloaded as either raw data in Excel format or in PNG format for easy inclusion into presentations. We hope you enjoy using Daylight. Please email touchpoints at ipa.co.uk or tweet us at the underscore IPA using the hashtag IPA touchpoints if you have any questions or feedback.